so hmm. i made a video a couple of days ago sort of cautioning people who want to come to canada with a bc visa and convert it to something like an asylum visa and i got all sorts of responses in the comments and in my dm from oh you're discouraging people from coming to canada or oh we are not telling people the truth or oh my cousin did it or oh my neighbor did it or oh asylum is okay and all of that and i want to respond now my intention is not to discourage anybody from coming to canada i can't discourage you from coming to canada i can't even stop you from coming canada do be my papa get them yeah you can come and i want people to come to canada that's why i make this content but did you hear about the death of that nigerian young man in canada a few weeks ago who was sleeping in a tent outside seeking asylum he died it is a rude awakening for us who are planning to come to canada on a visit visa without a plan what i was actually warning against was coming to canada without a plan this is winter season temperatures are dropping we are going to minus 30. imagine coming from a temperate region where temperatures are like 35 degree and you're landing somewhere where the temperature is like minus 35 degree and you have to sleep outside in the cold how will your body cope what if you come with children how would they cope news flash canada does not have where to put asylum seekers again if you have seen any of the news recently the provincial government and the federal government are bouncing responsibilities between themselves why asylum seekers are outside in the cold sleeping in tents it is a terrible situation that i don't want for any of you i'm not saying you shouldn't come on a visit visa come oh, please come but have a plan what are you going to do what is your plan you're hoping to convert to what work permit what is your plan about that you're hoping to convert to what study permit what is your plan about that you're hoping to what seek asylum what is your plan what is your asylum story? Why should you be granted asylum? Make yourself aware of the situation on ground before you come, especially in the winter. It's going to get cold. And you being a visitor, you might not be able to get accommodation or someone to rent you because you're a visitor. So please, what I'm saying is this, come with a plan. Look at the options that are available for you. I think a few weeks ago, I did a live video. It's on my YouTube channel, how to convert your VC visa to work permit. And I also talked about other options apart from the work permit. I didn't talk about asylum. I'll talk about that in a later video. But you need to come with a plan. Over the next few videos, I'll be talking about some of the options that are available to you to come to Canada in 2023, going into 2024. You can consider some of that and add it to this your VC visa plan. Then you will have a boomerang of plans and you will not be stuck out in the cold in the winter just because you came with a visa visa. Think about it. I have your good at heart. That's why I made that video. Not many people will say that, but I did say it and I knew that I would be criticized and I have been criticized. But this, I hope, will clear the air and, you know, give you more perspective about coming to Canada. Try and watch out for my next few videos because it will give you a lot more perspective and help you build up your plans for coming to Canada. See you tomorrow.